Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Valagar Alavane. All right, so uh, looking at some of the video guys that you guys have been watching, I know a lot of you've been watching Needle in a Face Stack, so I wanted to go back, revisit this one, and bring you a more clear-cut walkthrough guide. Um, I'm joined again by my friend Demon Bun, and uh, gonna show you guys what I've learned in this quest since that first release, and. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have some fun. All right, so the first thing I want to point out is my map is fairly open uh, because I've again I've been doing this a lot. So one thing I do want to point out is while you're out here, you definitely can, and I do recommend exploring the map, even if you're not looting these treasure chests. Uh, that will simply just help later on. Uh, if you happen to lose the unicorn. And if you're wondering what the unicorn, just keep watching, you'll run into that. So right from the start, if you come to about this big tree, you'll be able to make a left, cross the bridge, and here you will see a couple of shrines. And from the first video, you'll notice that I did find the, the cute senses, I've actually found out what specifically that is for and that is for an optional right here so going through the gate it will start creating little patches that you can jump onto uh, little pads and that'll actually take you all the way up to the top which is all the way up there and there are a couple of loot chests up there so you're gonna start by searching here it's gonna bring them up once you step on it that kind of starts the timer it'll also lock the uh, the door there now one thing to point out is it seems not all of these paths lead across to the top um, it seems like we might have actually got lucky or very unlucky yeah so we got a little unlucky but we were able to uh, catch up there so the other thing is you got to be fairly quick if you are not fast enough not only does it go invisible which you can stand on the invisible ones however the the platform can give away if you're standing on it too long and ultimately you want to make it all the way to the top which you know what we made it for the video it's real cool I can really show you guys um, this here, uh, I've spent a lot of time re-rolling these chests and rerunning these ones. Um, nothing special drops out of these. Uh, it just seems to be a standard loot drop. So you can get some Pharaoh Crystal chunks as well as Pharaoh Crystal weapons. Uh, but nothing actually named item will drop out of here. So from this point, uh, if you happen to fall, in the middle of the river there's a random pile of gold. And if you work your way up and around... Yeah, you're not promised those pharaoh chunks, that's just chance. But if you work your way up and around here, uh, there'll be some Fabrians. And once you kill the Fomorians, there will be a dire berserker bear. That or the Bewildered Berserk who also drops a loot chest here for us. Again, with this loot chest, it is random loot. So again, it can drop Pharaoh Crystal Chunks and Pharaoh Crystal Weapons, but not guaranteed and no actual named loot. So there's not really a lot of point in re-rolling those unless they're going for a specific Pharaoh Crystal Weapon. All right, so from this point, you're gonna wanna cross the river and head up the ramp here near where this Kelpie is. So you're gonna wanna make your way all the way down to about the south uh, southeastern corner. Now, the treasure chest itself uh, that we're looking for, it does have a few spots, but with most of these spots that I've found, they are in the southeastern corner of the map. 
in fact, approximately about nine times out of ten, I found it in two specific locations, one being that one right here. So this here is the treasure chest that we are looking for. Again, if you're not sure which one it is, you can just click on the chest, use one of these options, like spot, you have a good um, and it will chest. tell you. So Perhaps if it's not the right the chest, it'll say that the chest is salivating, or if you might not just not have the skill. Of course, you can always take the chest down, open them up. Another way is to know is when you take the chest down, the correct one actually has the title of chest, whereas the rest just say treasure. So that's another nice, easy way once it drops to the ground to know which one's which. Once you open it, you do get some random loot and you can get the unicorn running off. Now, if it does run off, don't worry. If you look on your map, you'll actually see him still there. This is where going and exploring your map comes super, super handy. So there we see him just ahead of us, kind of hiding, but, you know, we can still see him. This makes tracking it super, super easy. If you did not not see him on the map there, just highlight him. There he is running around. And if you highlight them on your map, it'll even point out with a white arrow when they go off the map. So, makes it fairly easy. Uh, each one, when it dies, will drop a new symbol. Alright, and then once it gets all the way down to the magic egg, that's the one that you're wanting. So you can actually click on the egg, and it gives you a few, few steps. Now, you're back away from the egg, emitting defeat, and kicking the egg. Both of those options don't actually do anything. Kicking the egg, your character just says, ow. Backing away, emitting defeat, doesn't say anything. All the other options, the concentration, intimidate, UMD. These three are actually going to bring up some unique... Uh unique dialogue from the egg nothing important so we can actually do the concentration for the flame strike flame strike the heavens sure only way to be sure you hear the egg screaming that it burns after which it's going to spawn in this guy you can choose to follow him or if you look at your map You'll see our door over here for the mysterious archway. That's where he's going to make his way to. So we can choose to follow him. Or. We can just. From where we were. Make our way specifically. Right to that archway. And simply just wait for him at that point. He will. Path from wherever he is all the way over to this location of course in the meantime that gives us plenty of time to kill it and as you see on the map here it does highlight them and with it being on our map highlighted it's also pointing out his specific location So we can even keep an eye on them. So here he is, finally catching up. And he heads into our archway, which we can now enter. Now, once we enter into the archway, he's going to start off by being at the very top of his pedestal. And you can talk to him. Um, you, what I found out is, it doesn't matter what option you select, uh, other than no games for me. So if you select, you know, I'm Valagar, what's your name? He just kind of gets a little happy. Even if you try to use diplomacy, he comes up with random speech. But ultimately, the only way to progress is to ask him for a game of skill. So with the cash here, uh, even if you watch your cash, if you're worried about losing... You don't actually use your money. 
and he just kind of like, eh, don't really use them. So we're going to select game of skill, or well, a game, and he wants basically to play a game of hide and tag. So he's going to hide somewhere in this area, in which case he starts snoring. Now it's a game of hot and cold to try and find his location. The closer you get to him, as we're getting farther away, it's going to get a little bit quieter. The closer you get, the louder it gets. Now there is a trick little spot that I found, actually a few of them, uh, but essentially you want to get to a spot where he cannot reach you. Um, if you do happen to get tagged, um, as there is an optional, don't get tagged. If you do happen to get tagged, uh, nothing spe special happens. You just lose out on the optional, which is just a, a little bit of XP. So there we are. We tagged him. Now, my spot I like is up on the ramp here. We get all the way up here. We've got... Uh, demon up on that statue over there as you can see he kind of flies at the edge can't really get up at the end of the timer which does take a little bit of a moment he eventually gets tired gives up that's it that's all for him there so just a little bit longer And he should be all tired out. After which time, that's it. All that's left to do is go grab our loot. Upon looting the chest, it does give us count for magic needle. You can, if you want, hop down. Talk to him for a little bit of extra dialogue. But, you know, nothing special. And then, come on and loot. So the end chest here can drop name blue, so feel free to re-roll this one if you'd like. Uh, there's a few pieces of name blue that I've gotten thus far. Let's see if we find any others. I did not get any others. It's bad luck on rolling, plus I've done this a few, so a little bit less chance to get some name blue, but either or. Anyway guys, I hope this uh, walkthrough helps. Um, with the point that you can see him on the map, with the optional there, as well with the fact that the treasure chest is most likely located in the southeastern corner or the bottom right hand corner of the map. It's generally right in that general vicinity. I've noticed there's about four or five treasure chests there and out of every time I've done it he's been one of those few in that area. But, have a good one all.